Guam Elite Basketball Academy, a skills development program using the latest and most innovative training methods to ensure the development of all athletes. Now, the training staff led by Dominic Sablon and Willie Stinnett have a deep understanding of the training process using the necessary tools for all players to reach their fullest potential both on and off the court. Now, the program is aimed to help develop the skills of our young hoopsters from around Guam. It's going to be for 8 and under, um, 10 and under, 12 and under, 15 and under, and 18 and under. And this academy is going to be a year-long program, and it's going to be three, uh, three sessions, and each session is going to be uh, six weeks long. Um, people that are interested in the program, they could go to our website. It's www.guamelitebasketball.com or go and check us at, um, on Facebook and on Instagram at Guam Elite Basketball. Each week, all age groups have two practices with the best trainers and players on Guam. The tryouts are going to be on August 29th to September 2nd. The cost is $25. comes with a free T-shirt, and we're going to select um, probably 12 to 15 kids in each age group to work with. And then the academy is going to run... It's going to be around $300, and it comes with a free basketball uniform and a free T-shirt. Session one for the academy takes place September 12th to October 21st, and the focus being on point guard training, ball handling, and understanding the pick and roll. The thing that separates us from most other basketball programs out there is, is we really want to focus on the player development uh, and really help kids get to the next level. Um, you know, we, we want the kids to have fun, but at the same time, we understand that this, this is not necessarily recreational. Uh, we, we want kids to really build the confidence on the court and, and take their game to that, that next level. Kids will be selected based on a positive attitude, willingness to learn, skills, and the commitment by both player and parent to attend each training session. This program is really for parents who, who really want to invest in their kids and, uh, and grow the game. And really why we did this is because we want to give kids an opportunity not only to work out during summer or, you know, when they're on break, but to work out consistently throughout the year uh, with some of Guam's top trainers. Guam National Youth Football Federation's 2016 season kickoff last Saturday on fields around the island. Now the GNYFF has a total of nine teams with four divisions along with cheer squads taking to the gridiron. Over at G-Dub Field, the Raiders organization made a clean sweep on the Angels taking all four divisions while the Packers took three of four divisions against the Southern Cowboys in their matchup, losing them a Tua division. Our games continue this weekend. Saturday, the Giants face the Eagles. 49ers take on the Steelers on Sunday. Saints play the Raiders and Packers go up against the Angels. The Cowboys have a bye. The Personal Finance Center Lady Crushers successfully defending their Bud Light Women's Futsal League title Sunday at the GFA training futsal courts. A Lady Crushers ranked number two in the playoffs avenged their lone regular season loss to Hyundai with a 2-1 victory over the previously undefeated team in the league's championship match played through windy and rainy conditions. It was monsoonal. The Futsal League Championship win adds to the Lady Crushers titles in 2016 after the team won the Bud Light Women's Soccer League spring season title earlier in the year. Now in the Futsal League's consolation match, the Isla Paint and Roofing Supply Lady Strikers outscored quality 2-0 in extra time to win third place in the 4-2 contest. After the matches, Lady Crushers and Hyundai accepting the league's championship trophy and runner-up trophy, respectively, from GFA National Secretary Tino Sengil in a short awards ceremony at the GFA National Training Center, Lanai. Also recognized in the awards ceremony were co-Golden Boot winners Angelica Perez and Skylar Blue Johnson, both of the Lady Crushers. Uh, both players scored 12 goals each during the regular season to claim the boot awards.